Hello everyone on behalf of Global Online University here we are back again with our next video on teaching aptitude you for UGC net paper one practice questions before we start with our session here is a small announcement for you all uh, global online university is happy to announce that we have started with our mock test series uh, which has started from 1st of April 2021 and with an intention for help you out to uh, to go for your uh, preparation well uh, for your May 2021 examination. Now, these test series are conducted for paper one, which is uh, daily, con which is conducted daily uh, on daily basis at 8 a.m. in the morning. Uh, you people can uh, watch the videos, you can see the questions, you can answer the questions on your own and ensure that you are practicing well. And these videos will run till the time of examination. And as you are aware that the Maharashtra set results are out and these mock test series really help students to, you know, uh, prepare themselves well. And we have, uh, uh, we are happy to announce the very positive result of our students who have cracked this uh, Maharashtra seat, uh, set examination. Same way, we want our all the net aspirants to uh, take maximum benefit out of it and uh, definitely crack your net examination and ensure that you are uh, progressing ahead in your career. So let's not waste the time. Let's start with the content for the day. So the first question is most important work of a teacher is now see the options over here. Uh, many a times the options are very easy and you feel that all are right. But you know, you have to uh, select only those options which goes best with the question. So the options are to organize the teaching work, to deliver the lecture, to take care of children, to evaluate the students. So if you see option C will not be a very close by option, but then you are confused with the remaining options. So the options are to deliver a lecture, to evaluate the students and to organize the teaching. But if you see delivery of lecture and evaluation of students can only happen once the teacher organized the teaching process very well. So teacher knows that when to deliver the lecture, what type of the lecture to deliver, what is the time limit, and then this teacher can start evaluating the students. So here the uh, option, the best option for the question uh, is the first option, that is to organize teaching work. So this is the right option for your uh, question. Next is at primary level, it is better to teach in mother tongue or mother language because it helps in self-confidence in children. It makes learning easy. It helps in intellectual development. It helps children in learning in natural atmosphere. So if you see, we are talking about primary level. We are talking about teaching in mother tongue. So self-confidence, definitely not. Why? Because, you know, your child has not yet started with his uh, learning process. So you need to inbuilt, you know, the interest level, then you need to make a comfortable level and then only you can speak about self-confidence. So this option does not work over here. It makes learning easy. Learning has not yet started yet. So it is easy is, you know, it's, it's not a very close by option. It helps in intellectual development. This we can talk about memory, uh, reflective memory, which is, you know, where before that we need to build up the memory uh, level and reflective learning, sorry. So before that you need to build up your memory level and your understanding level. So this also cannot be a close option. So if you see the close option is, it helps the children in learning in a natural atmosphere. Now why? Because child has, you know, came out of the first form of teaching and formal teaching that is the family and the family members. So this is basically when the child enters to the school, that is the second uh, teaching process, but that is formal. So when you, the, when the child comes out or from the informal to the formal process, it is very, very important to give that natural atmosphere of the learning to the child. So see, a discipline in the school should be men mentioned. The time limit should be, you know, uh, should be same. So here you can't uh, create a flexible atmosphere. But what you can do is that by initiating the child in the mother language or the mother tongue, you can give the natural atmosphere of the uh, uh, learning. So that will help the child to cope up with the difference. So here, if you see the right answer, it is option number D. That is, it helps children in learning a in the natural atmosphere. Next question. It is an advantage of giving homework 
that students now why do we give homework as a teacher what is the main intention of giving homework to the student is remain uh, to keep them or remain busy at home to study at home to be checked for their progress or to med to develop a habit of self study so basically we do not give all this we do this all are not at all importance the reason to give homework the main intention to give the homework to a child is to ensure that the child uh, ends up with you know self study process which will help again this process will help the child in his reflective level of you know uh, memory okay analytical memory uh, asking the questions getting the answer by themselves okay so this will help the child to develop in the form of self study so that is the right option for this question is develop a habit of self study the next question is to raise the standard of education it is necessary now see here this question was uh, in one of my video earlier also where the standard of education can be it is necessary to raise the standard of education by what the options were different over there here the options are different so you should know that you know such type of questions can get repeated but the options will be definitely different so here it is to evaluate the child continuously to give high salary to the teachers to revise the curriculum to make good school uh, to make good school building so definitely this is this is not at all close this also is not at all close so standard of education uh, on curriculum cannot be same for all the levels when we are talking about primary level secondary level the intention is something else okay high salary will definitely again not be a option so here it is basically to evaluate the child continuously so if you see this is a type of format a formative you know uh, evaluation where you do it evaluation on a regular basis and then slowly slowly you add up to a summative evaluation so here the right option for this uh, question is option number 1 next we have is family is a means of now see here just now we were discussing about you know child coming from a family and entering to a second form of education where you know he, he it is formal so definitely just now in that same question i repeated family is a form of which type of education an informal set of education okay informal uh please remember your again in my earlier video i have covered this topic in the conceptual uh, part formal informal and non formal okay students almost get confused over here and you hurriedly you can uh, you know just uh, formal and the opposite is non formal non formal talks about what it talks about education but in a correspondence way so here if you see the right uh, right answer for this question is the informal education okay now we know every one of you know that uh, very less time is uh, you have in your hand for your uh, upcoming examination of may 2021 and uh, as you are all aware that we are going with a revision uh, mock series also at the same time we are trying our level best to take Uh, you know small small uh, set of questions and help you to give a good amount of experience uh, with the practice so i ensure every asp uh, net aspirant who is going to appear for this may 2021 examination please try you have limited time in your hand but try to be organized in this limited time you know uh, just jot down the topics uh, just jot down some important concepts now this topic which i am taking is teaching aptitude here you basically need to have have concentration on the question and the set of answers it's not that factual except few concepts but you can utilize your time with you know uh, with some of the uh, other units where you have to be very factual very uh, conceptual you are conceptually you should be very strong so such segregate yourself with you know amount of videos the way of learning uh, the time is less but if if you organize in this limited time also no it will be easier for you and definitely you can you know definitely you can crack your examination so from tomorrow onwards the videos which i am going to take uh, come up with for teaching aptitude i will be serially going with concepts okay uh, as per your syllabus so it will be be easier for you to have a quick glance at the uh, questions and uh, Will give a self confidence to yourself that this topic of yours you know based on this videos and mock series 
can be covered so you can utilize your remaining time for some difficult topics and uh, you can get your practice done very well okay thank you everyone we'll be uh, coming next uh, next video will be coming with the new topics and in i'll primary level best to have the topics in sequence so that it will be easier for you to go with you know a preparation in the best possible and an organized manner thank you everyone